Hey there, it's Samantha Thompson, and I want to share with you three ways to get outside of your circle. So one of the most common complaints I hear from new direct sales consultants is they don't know how to get outside of their circle. So you start with that launch party and you share your business with your family and friends. You make your contacts list or who do you know list and you book a few parties and after the first couple months you feel like you're partied out with your family and friends and you're dead in the water. So the way things are supposed to work is that when we make that contact list or who do you know list, we are booking parties with our family and friends and at each of those parties we are doing some sort of booking game, dropping booking seeds, etc. in order to book two or three parties from each of those parties. But what happens is lots of times as a new consultant, we don't really get yet how that system is supposed to work. And so we don't book parties from those first few parties, or maybe we do one or two, but not consistently. And then we kind of feel like we've run out of people to ask about our business. And so today I want to share with you three ways that you can get outside of your circle and kind of revive your business. So the first way is gonna to be to go back and follow up with those first customers. So likely your company has some sort of a virtual office or a back office system where you have your contacts from people who have ordered or purchased from you. Um, if not, maybe you can go back and pull your order forms from those first few parties and do some follow up with these customers. Reach out to them. Ask how they're liking their product. Ask how they're using it. Um, ask if there was something that they wanted to purchase but weren't able to at the party that they were at. And that's going to open the door to start a booking conversation with them. The next thing I'll tell you to do is to ask everyone in your VIP group. So likely you've started a VIP group or a customer group and you should be adding everyone who parties with you to that group, but likely you're also advertising that on Facebook and adding friends, family, coworkers, people that you um, used to go to school with, things like that to your group. And so this is a hot market to reach out to those people. You can even do something simple like um, posting that you're going to do a giveaway and share a picture of something that you're going to give away and say, I'm doing a giveaway this month. I'm going to send each of you a personal message and all you need to do is respond to that message in order to be entered to win. And then just reach out to them in a personal message, include your group link, ask them if they like being a part of their of your group and they want to continue. And then again, that opens that door to those continued conversations with them. And then last but not least is referrals. And this is really huge in this business. Um, lots of things spread by word of mouth and people love to buy from someone that they know and trust. So while some contacts or customers might not know or trust you, they're gonna trust their friend's opinion of you and the service that you've provided. So it's a great idea to ask all of your contacts, people who have purchased from you, people who have partied with you, people have hosted for you to refer their friends and family to you. And so you can set up some sort of a referral reward system where when they refer people to you and they um, purchase your product, you reward them with some sort of a discount or a free gift. You can even, um, you know, do part of your full service customer checkout is asking them, you know, who else do you know that would love these products and just kind of get in the habit of asking for referrals on a regular basis. So I hope these ideas help you get outside of your circle. I'll talk to you soon.